Good afternoon. How good it is to gather here in the name of Christ. This space has become a sacred space for us as we've been holding worship services out here almost every other week since October the 4th. It is so good to be together and to see one another's faces even when we are behind masks and when we are socially distanced because we feel and experience once again the joy of being in community together. I'm so glad that you chose to be here today and to make this a part of your Christmas celebrations as we draw closer and closer to the time when we celebrate the birth of our Lord. Today we do come together with a, a bit of an anxiety because of the uh, numbers of COVID cases arising. So we know that you're full of anxiety. That's why we have you register online and also register here at the table if you have not done so online so that we can let you know should anyone in our community test positive. So be sure that you have either registered online or that you signed in at the table back here. If you are um, a young person or if you are young at heart, you will notice that on the registration table we have some chalk for the children to write with. There's also a storybook for them to take with them. And uh, there are also some peppermint canes back there as well. So you can have those to take home with you today. And if you feel like you're young at heart, you can also have a peppermint cane. We've got plenty. So um, be sure that you carry something home with you from this time together. As we continue this, ce this celebration, we do want to say just a few words um, about things within the community. Uh, many that you have already heard or may have been made aware of. Uh, we are uh, going to be having a staff change. Our director of music, Dwight Dockery, will be moving to Maryville, Tennessee, his hometown, to accept a full-time position as director of music at First United Methodist Church. And so we're thankful for Dwight's time here with us and are happy for him to have this wonderful opportunity to go home and to be close to family. We also want to um, remind everyone, if you have not already heard, or share with you the, the death of Don Fowler and also of Helen Carter. Both of these have been members of our congregation for many years. They've served the Lord here with us and we are thankful for their lives and for all that they have meant to us and to our community. And of course, if you've listened to the news, you know about all the accolades of Don Fowler that have been shared around the state and around the nation. And we concur because we knew him not only as a political icon, but as a genuine Christian man. So we mourn with Carol, we mourn with Jim, and we celebrate the gift of life and light that has come into the world in Christ. Today, we are having what we call a carol sing. 
And so we are preparing ourselves for sharing in the story of the birth of Jesus in music and in song and in word and witness. Let us prepare our hearts for worship. join me in the opening prayer found printed in your bulletin let us pray holy God we gather to hear once again the story we long to hear year after year we gather to sing with joy of the birth of the Christ child the source of our hope and your living sign of love may your Holy Spirit move among us so that we hear not only the voices of those gathered here, but the voices of angels and shepherds and the whisper of your presence among us. Amen. Gabriel plays the role of the herald of the Christ in the birth narratives of Luke. It is Gabriel who tells Zechariah that his wife Elizabeth will conceive and bear a son, a son who will prepare the way for the Lord. It was Gabriel who visited Mary and announced that she would conceive and bear a son who would be the son of the Most High. And Matthew it was an angel of the Lord who appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him to take Mary as his wife because the child was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Joseph was instructed to marry Mary and give the child the name Jesus because he would save his people from their sins. It was an angel who warned the wise men who visited the newborn king not to return to Herod it was an angel who came to Joseph and advised him to take the child and his mother into Egypt where they lived as refugees. There they remained until an angel came to Joseph after the death of Herod and told him to return to Israel where he settled in the regions of Nazareth. Some of our favorite Christmas carols include the role of the angels in the birth of Jesus. Let us rejoice and sing with the angels.
ठीक है Joseph were surprised by such angelic visits. Joseph was a carpenter by trade and Mary a simple young girl. Perhaps the, the wise ones were surprised as well, but no one was more surprised than the shepherds who heard the angelic message on that first Christmas. They were often the poorest of the poor, the marginalized people of their society. Listen again as we hear Luke's story. Now it came to pass in those days that a decree went forth from Caesar Augustus that a census of the whole world should be taken. This first census took place while Severius was governor of Syria, and all were going, each to his own town, to register. And Joseph also went from Galilee out of the town of Nazareth into Judea to the town of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to register together with Mary, his espoused wife, who was with child. And it came to pass, while they were there, that the days for her to be delivered were fulfilled. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds in the same district, living in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them, and the glory of God shone round about them, and they feared exceedingly. And the angel said to them, 
Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be to all the people. For today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men of good will. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
the shepherd's visit to the manger in Bethlehem probably startled the new parents. They showed up speaking of angels and heavenly hosts, and when they left, they were the first evangelists of the good news of Jesus Christ. Yet they weren't the only visitors to the child born in Bethlehem. Wise ones from the east followed a star to the Holy Land. They went to Herod's palace in Jerusalem to find that newborn king. But Herod was unaware. He sent for the scribes and the chief priests of the land who told them that the long-awaited Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. The wise ones then followed that same star from the palace of Herod to the humble dwelling of the Son of God. And there they bowed and worshipped Christ, the newborn King. We too are invited to follow the star, to make our way to the manger. We are invited to join millions upon millions of believers in telling the great good news delivered to the shepherds by angels. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born for you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Let us rejoice as we sing and share the great good news of Christmas. Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Christmas Eve, weather permitting, at 12 and at 4 for our Christmas Eve communion services. I invite you to bring your communion from home as we have done in previous services, or we will have some available here for you that has been prepackaged and is gluten-free. So I hope if the weather permits, and we will let you know two hours before the service whether or not we feel like the weather will permit, that will be 10 o'clock in the morning and 12 and uh, at two o'clock in the afternoon so that you can look online and you will know for sure whether or not we'll be continuing the services let's pray for good weather on christmas eve 
And now we go in peace and hope and joy as we sing the song of the angels, as we carry with us the hope of the prophets, as we live in the light of the Christ. Go in peace. Amen and amen.